Hi all, welcome to the video. In this video, we'll look at a very popular model for detecting anomalous transaction or anomalies in general. And um, this, this model is basically known as an isolation forest. Just think of it as a general decision tree, but again, the thing is it does partitioning of the data set in a very different way. And more so, it is basically an unsupervised machine learning model. So let's say there are outliers in the data and mostly the assumption assumption is there are more normal points in the data in comparison to outliers which are few or far in number okay so essentially that this means that outliers are present in smaller proportion in comparison to the normal points so uh, we can also think of it this way that since they are few or far between therefore it must be easier to separate them out since, since they don't have that much feature differentiation and hence the a decision tree cannot branch them out which means that let's say if there is a, an outlier point and if we are using a feature to partition it there might not be you know uh, enough information available in that feature or enough information available in that point which, which our decision tree can leverage and you know it can branch them out hence the basic concept here is, you know, all the anomalous points or suspicious points will be present very close to the root node as is indicated in this particular, you know, slide. Uh, and, and since the normal features are more, you know, proficient and profiled in the sense that they have, uh, they are more defined as far as, as far as the features in the data set is concerned, therefore, we can branch them out and eventually uh, they are found at the depth or you know terminal nodes of the tree however an outlier point will be found at you know very close or at a short distance from the root node this was a very brief description you know without going too much into the math because essentially we are just trying to identify model and then use them to create anomaly score for our data set in this next in the next video we'll basically look at a data set and then we'll use uh, we'll basically leverage a library which which can offer us isolation forest functionality and we'll try to create anomalous code if you like the video do subscribe to my channel and thank you